welcome back again children okay in this video we are going to discuss the next topics of the uh, last video that is the world around us okay we have discussed lot many things in the previous video so in this video we are going to continue with the, continuing with the relationship between all the things in the environment we must understand this children and we must come to know about this that is the relationship between all the things in our environment that is the relationship uh, between each and everything in the environment is just like a chain the one th one substance will not be um yeah, independent by leaving the other substance that is just like a chain the, there is a chain relationship between in the all the things for example we will st start from the small seed okay we have a small seed then from where does the seed has come the fruit of the plant and from where does the fruit has come from the plant from the flower from where the flower has come the one it is one of the part of the plant and how the plant has come again from the seed so this is how a small seed can be turn into seedling when it is put in the soil and when it get some amount of water and the warmth it will turns into seedling then the germination takes place and it will start growing a small plant and it will uh, uh, grow till uh, till a certain height of it will grow okay gradually it will grow how the other animals will grow and even this atmosphere will help plants to exchange the air isn't it see you can see the chain here seed seedling plant there is a chain re uh, relationship between seed seedling and the plant and again if once the plant has grown it has to prepare its own food then the atmosphere is needed sunlight is needed you have learned the photosynthesis process see atmosphere how the atmosphere will help to the plant to prepare its own food the atmosphere will give plant the carbon dioxide the leaf part of the plant is going to absorb the carbon dioxide and it will leave out the uh, oxygen to the nature this is a simple example how the relationship between just like a chain relationship between in all the things in this whole world in our world then uh, we can see uh, some food chain okay we can see a small insect will eat grass grasshopper a frog is going to eat the grasshopper or the lizard is going to eat the grasshopper and the frog is eaten by some other animal that is the snake and snake is eaten by the eagle this is how the nature will balance um a nature will balance by uh, uh, cleaning or by uh, just making uh, out from this nature it will balance itself and uh, so one animal will be the food for the other animal and uh, the uh, animal grasshopper will not live without the grass and the frog and the lizard will not live without the some insects like grasshopper and some other insects and the uh, uh, this snake will not live without the frogs and some other small animals which the snake is going to swallow so this is how the balance will take place in the, uh, in the uh, different kinds of the variety of the animals this is known as the food or food chain of the animals so next we can see plants the relationship between plants and the other things in the our nature that is for example plants will help from Uh, sorry a uh, plants will help in variety of things in the uh, nature the, there are the things those are the plants which will give maximum help to the other things like including human being animal other animals birds insects small animal big animal biggest animal all kind of variety of living things the plants are the food source we all are going to eat the food from the plant this is how the first use of the plants and then other than this plants will help us many varieties in the, sorry in the many ways the plants will help we all are there in the uh, okay in the uh, houses how the houses are going to be built we have this board how this board has built it is used by the wood from where the wood has come 
from the plants again and then we you have the paper you have the textbooks pages are there from where it has come from the plants papers have come from the uh, plants that is from the uh, trees of the big trees will be there they will cut the, those trees and uh, they will make the uh, paper in the mills big factory will be there paper mill be, mill will be there there we will get the papers by cutting or with the help of the plants are the main source for our papers also and to build the house construct the house and to build many furniture there are lot many things window sorry door window uh, furniture like cot sofa and the wardrobe for many more things the plant products are most important that wood is most important then other than this we will get the plant products what are those plant products as i told you we will eat the food from the plants more than 80 percent of food we get from the plants that may be fruit flower vegetable grains cereals grams isn't it or that may be the seeds seeds means oily seeds may be there other seeds may be there fruits may be there many more things eating items more than 80 percent of eating items we get from the plants then other than that we get cotton from the plants we get rubber from the plant we get uh, papers from the plant whatever we are wearing the cloth now these all have come from the plants because plants have given us the uh, that may be the small jute jute plant may be there cotton plant may be there and some other plants may be there we get variety of cloths only by the plants other than plants there is no other source in this whole world that we can get uh, cloths okay then next plant products uh, like threads we will get jute jute from jute plant we will get the jute uh, that jute uh, cloth or jute bag or uh, whatever it is uh, so this is how we get from the plant products cloths and some other papers and some other boxes each and everything are not at all made by us children we are going to use the materials from the nature and we are going to build or give some more uh, some shape for that for example, we are going to get the soil, cement, everything from the nature, wood, everything from the nature and the stones, everything from the nature and we are going to build this wall. Isn't it? Other than these materials, it's not at all possible for the human being to build the any house, construct any building or any house or a small or big. Isn't it? So this is how the plants are going to help. Next, the animals. What are the animals? We will use those animals like um, horse, ox, cow, buffalo. We are using these animals for other purposes which are which they are going to help us. Dog, cat and some pet animals we are going to use inside our house for other helps. Isn't it? And other than this hen, fish, seafoods and um, eggs and uh, milk and the milk product. We will get a lot many things from the animals. They will give us the milk. And we are going to prepare a variety of products from the milk. Milk, butter, lassi, cream, paneer, ice cream, uh, cheese. There are so many things we get from the ghee, from the animal product. That is from the milk. Then from the fish, fish oil we will get. Fish also we will eat. It is very important and very helpful for our body to maintain our body and then other than fish uh, uh, hen we will eat the hen in the form of chicken and we will get the eggs from the hen and the turkey is a bird we will eat the meat of the turkey and goat from the goat we will get the mutton from other animals also of course we will eat the flesh of other uh, animals also so this is how uh, we will get help of an animals in eating products other than this even we take the help of other animals like the skin of the snake skin of the other animals like goat and the sheep skin of the sheep that is wool 
we will get uh, wool from the animals skin from the snake and the cow like the skins are used for um, preparing the bags and preparing the purses preparing the uh, slippers for our to you wear so this is how these all are helpful some other skin uh, skin of the animals are helpful even the teeth of the the uh, teeth of the elephant is helpful for, for preparation of the comb and all isn't it and even it is helpful for making so many drawings and all that is different the skin of the elephant will uh, cost lakhs together again by using that skin we, we can prepare lot many things skin of the tiger is useful skin of the lion is useful okay so like this different type of animals will help us in different ways this is how only thing is man is not at all helpful for anything but other than this the plants and animals each and every small point of small this much amount of soil is also helpful for us in this nature this is how there is a good relationship and the child relationship between each and everything in our world that is the world around us this is built very beautifully this is like god has built a very nice child where without one substance there is no possible for to be other substance that may be living thing or that may be a non-living thing we have discussed lot many things children in this video i hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed i just have tried you to give some ideas about how the relationship between all things in the nature is existing and how the uh, we are going to get the help from the plant and plant products and how we are going to get help from the animals and the animal products Okay, uh, I'll give you some homework. I'll give you two uh, homeworks here, two questions. Write down the help of uh, from the plant in the nature or in the world. You have to write down brief, in brief. The next question, write down the help or the relationship uh, between animals with the other things. You can write. How the animals are going to help us in the different way in our world in our this nature so you can easily write these two questions write these questions and enjoy this video if you not understood see this video repeatedly okay uh, let us meet in the next video with a new topic till then take care bye bye i hope you all will do this homework